Hello everyone, welcome back to another RL Craft video. This is episode 4, and in this video I'm going to get a Tide Guardian armor, which is the best armor in the game, and I'm also going to be looting a bunch of structures. Don't forget enchantments for that armor, and also some various other items that could be good if I get lucky enough. So, I hope you enjoy the video. Alright, so this is actually a voiceover for the next clip, because for some reason I just forgot how to commentate mid-recording. So basically, I found a battle tower while trying to find some sea serpents. So I summoned in my summons, knocked him off the battle tower, shot the guardian with seemingly thousands of arrows, caused a chain reaction and blew up all of the spawners, and then got a bunch of loot. So yeah, pretty successful, but I didn't really get anything interesting besides a couple of accessories, a bunch of diamonds, and an enchanted book, so it wasn't too noteworthy. So I don't remember if I showed this off on camera yet, but I do have this reforging station right here. I'm going to reforge my diamond rapier. If I just put that, my sword up there, and put diamonds here, I can just press this hammer and it will give a new modifier to my sword. Now ideally, <laughs> it's not the worthless modifier that gives minus like pretty much everything. So um, let's just keep going. Legendary. Look at that. Now that looks to be a really good reforge. Plus 10% dig speed. That doesn't really matter. Plus 10% attack speed. That's good. Plus 15% attack damage. And plus 0.5 reach distance. The reach distance is really good. Um, I think that'll help me out a lot with melee fights especially. And the attack damage and everything else. I think this is one of the best modifiers in the game, so I got really lucky in this case. So, as I said in the intro, I do want to make this Tide Guardian armor. Now, this Tide Guardian armor requires Sea Serpent Scales, which are obtained from Sea Serpents, obviously, in the ocean, and uh, they're really tough. Like, uh, Sea Serpents can one-shot you in pretty good armor, so I am a little worried about trying to take those guys out. Not to mention that you need the same color sea serpent scales to make a piece of armor. So I can't use a bunch of blue and like purple and brown. I can't use a mix of those uh, scales to make a piece of armor. So I'm going to have to get a bunch of the same color scales to actually make a piece of armor. Which I don't know if it's going to be a problem or not. But I'm hoping the sea serpents will drop enough scales that I can make a piece of armor without having to track down another sea serpent of the same color. Now the other piece of the recipe are these uh, shiny scales here. Now these are a lot easier to obtain. They're obtained through uh, sirens, which are found on the side of the ocean. Uh, they're kind of sitting on rocks and they will kind of lure you in and take control of your character. But basically the strategy I'm going to use for those guys is to just get lured in and then hit them with my sword. They're pretty easy. I'm not really worried about that. I'm mainly just worried about these scales. So, um, yeah, let's go try to find some sea serpents and uh, I'll just hope this goes well. Alright, so I have just located a sea serpent and it is actually stuck on the ground as well. So hopefully this will be an easy kill and I should just be able to bow this guy down. Now I know these guys can launch themselves off the ground to hit you. So I'm hoping that just doesn't happen once they're um, like beached on the ground like this. Am I getting shot at? I think there's a skeleton on me or something. Could be really bad. I don't want anything else interfering with this fight. Because if something does get a lucky headshot on me and I do die, it's going to be a big pain to get my stuff back with this sea serpent here. This is actually taking a lot more arrows than I thought it was going to. I believe I have enough. Oh, there we go. All right. Let's see what it dropped. Hopefully another sea serpent doesn't just pop out of nowhere and kill me here. Oh, 15 scales. That's sick. That's so many. All right. That's actually enough for a couple pieces of armor. Also, this, uh, yeah, this biome, this structure is a little bit glitched out, but that's just kind of what RL Craft is all about, isn't it? Alright, so this is voiceover number two because I forgot how to commentate while recording again. So basically what happened was, I found a sea serpent, 
kind of on the shore and kind of in the water, so it was a bit more risky than the completely beached sea serpent that I fought before. But anyway, I decided to take the risk, and I started shooting at it. I was doing good damage, and the sea serpent was just kind of chilling out, but eventually it did decide to jump at me. It jumped like 50 blocks in the air. It was insane. But anyway, I did actually kill it mid-air while it was jumping at me, but when recording, I didn't realize that, so I thought it just kind of disappeared when I couldn't find it again. I thought it might have despawned something along those lines. And yeah, so I never would get those sea serpent scales. It was a bit of a process to figure out what happened to the sea serpent. I only realized while editing. But anyways, later I did find some really cool pink slimes and a blight zombie, which it's not really important, but I do talk about it in the clip following this one. So I thought I needed to provide a little bit of context. All right, so here is the report as promised. First of all, I did kill that blight zombie, which was the zombie with uh, purple fire that I showed you in the last clip. And it did give me a ton of XP. You can see I have 33 levels down there. And then I also have an XP tome with 30 levels in it as well. So I can do a ton of level 30 enchants, hopefully enough to get my Tide Guardian armor up to a decent level of enchantedness. Um, I did get some shiny scales, and obviously you saw me get the sea serpent scales in one of the previous clips as well. Um, I got the shiny scales from the sirens, as I explained earlier how to get them. Uh, it was actually before the last clip, I just didn't mention it. There was also a battle tower nearby the sea serpent and the, um, the purple slimes and stuff. I didn't have enough inventory space to loot the whole thing, but I do have it marked on the map and I am going to loot it later uh, if I have time and if I need to. Um, I also got this Vizor, and this is also a Terraria accessory, funnily enough, and it grants me full immunity to poison. This is actually going to be really helpful because poison isn't really a big thing in vanilla Minecraft. But in Aurelcraft, there are a lot of random enemies that you wouldn't expect to poison you, but they do. And I can wear this in this open accessory slot that um, I didn't have anything there before. So this is just a complete positive. I don't have to make any trade-offs for that. And it gives me 3% um, damage res resistance because it's armored. I also broke a few spawners. Some of them were in the battle tower, some of them weren't. They were just in random structures. And I do have enough heart crystal shards to make a um, another heart container. And I do have a good amount of heart dust as well. So I'm going to do that after I'm done talking here. And also, with these scales and shiny scales, I can, I can make a good amount. I'm guessing probably about three-fourths Tide Guardian armor. So I might want to do that and then go out and find the last sea serpent that I need. Because I can mix and match colors, it's just not going to have the full effect of looking cool. I mean, it'll still look cool, but it won't look as cool as a full matching set, at least in my opinion. But it will have the same effect if I do mix colors. I just can't make one single piece with different color shards, or scales. So yeah, let's make that heart container here. Just like that. Boom, this will be another... A heart to my collection and I can make four more shards so I'm very close to being able to make another heart container as well I just need one more dust and another shard so either ten dust or one dust and a shard or just two shards you know, there's a lot of different combinations boom all right let's see what um, it added that heart to it looks like it kind of gave kind of evenly distributed that heart because I have a little more on the left and right foot as well as the left and right arm. I didn't have that extra open heart there before. So that's pretty cool. Obviously, I do always prefer the extra hearts to be on the head and the body because those are the, um, especially the head, because those are the body parts where if they get down to zero hearts, you just instantly die. So that's never fun. Alright, so let's actually make some Tide Guardian pieces. I want to get this chest plate done, so I'm going to do that. Let's see, maybe... Yeah, we could do leggings and then boots. 
All right, so now I just need... Oh, great, I had all of the shiny scales I need. I just need five more of uh, Sea Serpent scales, and then I can make the full set. Um, what's my defense? I might actually have to level up my... Yeah, I need two more levels of defense before I can actually wear this armor. So I'm going to have to do that. But yeah, once I get five more Sea Serpent scales, I'm definitely going to make this full set. Alright, so unfortunately I don't have as many levels as before because I did get my defense up to level 20. I had to put two levels into that. I had defense 18 before. So it put me from, I think, somewhere around 33 levels to 21. So that's was kind of a shame, but you know, you gotta do what you gotta do. I do still have this full XP tome, so when I do that I get to level 34. So that's enough for a level 30 enchant. So let's see what we got. Section 3. Section 3. Section 3. Um, usually for armor I wait until I get protection 4. So I'm not going to do any armor enchants on there. Now the fire aspect on this sword here might be good. The only thing is it is a diamond rapier though. I know there are much better weapons. Um, I don't think there's a tied, like, sword or anything. So, I think the dragon bone rapier might be the best one. And then you can upgrade that to, um, like, the flaming dragon bone sword or the ice one. I think that might be the best sword. But I'm not really sure. I don't think I want to enchant this. Let's actually check pickaxe. Tumbling one. I don't know if that's good or not. It sounds kind of cool. And it's level 30 enchant. Do I want to do this? Tunneling one on my diamond pickaxe. It is level 30, so I might get some other enchants as well. So I think I might try this. Yeah, let's just do it. Okay, just tunneling one. That's fun. Well, let's see what enchants I have now. Magic protection. Okay, so I think it gives me the same... No, it doesn't give me the same enchant on all pieces. I don't know what magic protection really protects against, because I don't really run into magic that often, I don't think. I don't really know what counts as magic and what doesn't. Alright, so there's not really any other enchants I want to take. So I think I'm just going to go for the Tide Guardian Helmet, and then I'll try maxing out the enchants then. Alright, so I did go down to the mine to try out this pickaxe, and it's actually really cool. Tunneling one seems to be pretty good. So if I go like right here and start mining, boom. Look how many blocks it breaks at once. Well, this is really cool. The one thing is, I might have to um, have a normal pickaxe as well. Because, for example, if I wanted to break just one block, I wouldn't be able to because it'll break... You know, all the other blocks around it as well. Also, I think this is a heart shard ore vein. So, like, just mine this and see. It does. It drops a, a heart crystal shard. It's sick. Wait, so... No, it didn't. I thought when I was crouching it didn't activate the tunneling enchant, but it does. I was about to be impressed because that would have been really helpful and pretty cool as well. Alright, well that's uh, that's Tunneling 1. It's pretty sick. I also got some Heart Crystal Shards. Actually, this is enough for another Heart Container, isn't it? Alright, let's go. Another Heart Container. Boom. Almost two rows of hearts over halfway. Let's see what it added the heart to. Alright, it looks like I have another heart... On my head, actually. Yeah, because that's at uh, five hearts now. Nice. Alright, and look what we have here. A fresh battle tower with loot. <laughs> right for the taking. Yo, okay. That fireball. Really, uh... Really stuns you when it hits you directly in the face, doesn't it? Alright, as always, fell to the ground. Where's he at? It's kind of hard to see around the rock sometimes. And now, I bow him to death. Oh. 
These arrows must feel like toothpicks to him. This death by a thousand toothpicks. I hear a dragon. Is there a dragon? Whatever. Hey, was that guy fighting that skeleton? There's definitely a dragon around here. So where's my guy? Come on, let's go. All right, now we wait for the loot. <laughs> I'm sitting here looting this battle tower. And there's just a dragon looming in the distance. I am terrified right now. This is the most intense loot run I've ever done. All right, so a couple things. It is now starting to get colder than it was before. I had to retreat from the snowed biome just because of hypothermia. I mean, I didn't want to be there because of the dragon, but it got real once I started freezing to death. But um, I did get a few good things from this battle tower. For one, I got a heart container so I can get even more max health. I got some diamond blocks, some diamonds as always. A couple of diamond tools, but other than that heart container, this uh, battle tower was fairly weak in terms of loot. I did get this enchanted fishing rod. I don't know what Curse of Holding does, but it makes me think I should not put it in my hand. But yeah, I mean, it was really just the heart container that was good about this one. I did get a full XP tome, so that's pretty sick. Um, I'm pretty sure this isn't the one that I had. Yeah, my XP tome is right there, so I got another full one. So that's enough for a couple level 30 enchants. So um, that's pretty good. It's basically just the tome and the heart container. The only uh, good loot. Alright, so I did find a blue sea serpent in here. It seems to be having problems. So uh, maybe it'll be an easy kill. I think when I hit it, it unstuck itself. Eh, maybe not. It still seems to be pretty stuck. I just have to kind of watch out when I go in the water. Because uh, there's a lot of dangerous stuff in the ocean. So when I go to get these scales, it might not end well. Alright, I'm lucky the AI for these things are not very good. So um, let me put away some stuff. I just looted a battle tower, you can see. I'm not really going to go through every single battle tower run anymore. Just because I find so many of them. But like, here's the stuff I got. You can kind of see everything. I did get another heart container as well. That's pretty good. Uh, I was like right around here. There's the XP probably for... Uh, from the sea serpent. I just heard a growl. Why I was kind of worried. I don't know where this stuff is. Okay. Alright. <laughs> Alright, I see you. Luckily I had this spot memorized on the atlas. Alright, so I just used a grave scroll to uh, teleport back to my death position. So um, it didn't turn out to be too much of a hassle. I did lose a little bit of levels, and um, I did find the sea serpent scales on the ground as well. But yeah, I just brought one of these Tide Guardian boots that I have, because uh, it gives me water breathing, so I can stay under here infinitely now. Probably should have had those on me in the first place, but I just didn't want to lose them if I died. Um, I'm still missing some stuff, so I'm just gonna... Oh, I thought those were like... Those are items. I didn't realize things... Uh, fell so slowly in water, even with RL craft on, which is supposed to make things realistic. Alright, that's about everything. I am going to look around a little more, but like, I'm not going to do all that on camera. Alright, so let's finally make the last piece of Tide Guardian armor. Maybe just like this. No, those are leggings. We don't want leggings. Uh, let me look up the recipe. We want a helmet. All right, just like this. What am I missing? Serpent. 
Oh, deep blue. Oh, I just clicked on the wrong, uh, wrong color scales. All right. It's the last one. This set. Let's put it on. Let's see what we look like. Look at that. Look at this armor set. <laughs> My iron shield and diamond rapier looks kind of sad with this tide, tide guardian stuff on, but, uh, you know, it'll have to do. But yeah, this stuff gives me full water breathing. It gives me strength four in water, one level of strength for each armor set. And it also has an insane amount of locational and just overall armor as well. So, obviously I am going to completely max out the enchants on this. Maybe not max it out because I'm sure there's a lot of crazy enchants, uh, custom enchants that I don't know about. But get like at least prot four and all that stuff on it. Um, I'm definitely going to reforge this as well. Hopefully I don't need to use more sea serpent scales, but I probably will have to do that. So I'm going to have to find the right color to actually reforge it. I can actually check right now. Let's see if I can reforge my helmet with these deep blue scales. Yeah, so it looks like um, it is the uh, scales that you need to reforge it. Let's see if I can reforge the helmet or the chest piece. No, so you do need the same color scales to reforge the armor. So that's going to kind of suck. All right, everyone. And with the addition of the full set of Tide Guardian armor, I think that's going to do it for this video. I hope you enjoyed. Remember to like and subscribe. And I hope to see you in the next Minecraft or Terraria video. Bye, everyone.